Hello scientists, you've been studying about weather patterns. Today, we're going to focus on a weather journal checklist. Today, you will check the information you have recorded in your weather journal using a checklist. What is a checklist? It's a list of information that you look at and check to see if it's in your journal. You give yourself a check if you have that information in your journal. Let's get started. Here's a weather journal checklist that we'll be using today. What do you notice about this checklist? Do you see pictures? Do you see words? The first question on this checklist asks, did you write the date? The second question, says, did you draw, write, or chart what you observed in the sky? The third question asks, did you draw, write, or chart what the temperature was like outside? The fourth question, did you draw, write, or chart what the wind was like outside? And number five was any additional information you may have added. So here are the questions for number five. Did you add additional information like what you would wear outside or what the season is or what animals are doing in response to the weather? Next to each question, there's another column and the heading of that column says yes and has a check mark. And if you did any of those things like write the date or write what the temperature was like, you can give yourself a check on your work. We're going to go through this checklist one item at a time. Let's begin. So here's the first question. Did you write the date? There's a picture of my journal entry with the date written. It says March 26, 2021. I wrote the month, the number of the day, and the year. Now it's your turn to give it a try. Did you write the date? If you did, you can give yourself a check. The second part of the checklist asks, did you draw, write, or chart what you observed in the sky? Here's a sample of what I did in my journal entry. I drew the sun and the clouds because that's what I saw when I looked in the sky. I also labeled my picture. So next to the picture of the sun, I wrote the word sun. And above the clouds, I wrote the word cloud. I gave myself a check on the checklist because I did draw what I observed in the sky. Now it's your turn to give it a try. Look at your journal entry. Did you draw, write, or chart what you observed in the sky? If you did, you can give yourself a check mark. The third question on the checklist asks, did you draw, write, or chart what the temperature was like outside? Here's an example of what my entry said. I wrote, it feels cool, because that's how it felt outside that day. Did you draw, write, or chart what it felt like or what the temperature was like outside? Was it cold, warm, hot, cool? If you did draw, write, or chart what the temperature was like outside, you can give yourself a check. Number four asks, did you draw, write, or chart what the wind was like outside? Here's an example of my work. I drew a picture of the sun and the clouds, but I also added a little bit more information. I drew lines coming down from the clouds with a little curve to show that there was some wind. Listen to what I wrote. I wrote, it is breezy outside today. So that describes what the wind was like. Breezy means a light wind. Because I did draw and write what the wind was like outside, I gave myself a check on my checklist. Now it's your turn to give it a try. 
Did you draw, write, or chart what the wind was like outside? If you did, you can give yourself a check. Number five is additional information you have you might have added in your journal entry. Listen to what the question asks. Did you add additional information like what you would wear outside. Here's a sample of what I did in my entry. I drew a picture of myself wearing a jacket because it was cool outside. Because I did draw a picture showing what I wore outside, I gave myself a check. Now it's your turn to take a look at your entry. Did you draw what you would wear outside or did you write about it? If you did, you can give yourself a check. Next, you could have added more information, like what season it was. Let's take a look at a sample of my entry. It says, it is spring. So I wrote what the season was. Because I did that, I gave myself a check. Now it's your turn to give it a try. Look at your entry. Did you add additional information, like what season it was? If you did, you can give yourself a check. Here's some more information that you could have added in your weather journal. The question says, did you add additional information, like what animals are doing in response to, web, to the weather? Here's a sample of what I did in my entry. I drew bees buzzing around the flowers that grew in spring. They are looking for nectar to drink. Because I drew what the bees were doing in response to the weather, I gave myself a check. Now it's your turn to give it a try. Did you add additional information like what animals are doing in response to the weather? If you did, you can give yourself a check. Let's wrap up what you learned today. Today you learned what a checklist is, why people use checklists, and how to use a checklist. Remember, if there's something on a checklist that you didn't give yourself a check for, you can always go back and add that to your weather journal. I hope you enjoyed this video.